Hello friends, I decided to make an unusual experiment and demonstrate the Lorentz force in conductor of the second kind. I use zinc and copper. If you see a plus and minus, it means I used a DC power source. This power source can be used to charge the battery from the car. But today I will use it for other purposes. I connect the zinc plate to the minus and the copper plate to the plus. Thus the copper plate I have become the anode a zinc cathode. I added copper sulfate to the water. Stir it a little and wait for the copper sulfate to completely dissolve in the water. I applied a voltage of about 7 volts and set the current to about 0.5 amps. After a while this precipitate formed which I stirred which are a copper stick. What do you think this sediment is? I am not a chemist, I am a physicist. Now the fun begin. I take a neodymium magnet. Look carefully at how these flake move. Now watch what happens if, if I hold the magnet up. I increase the voltage to 19 volts and the current to 1 amp. See how funny these flakes behave near the magnet, they are clearly moving up. Here I change the polarity of the magnet and see what happens to the movements of these flakes. The direction change to the opposite. Now I will change the direction of the magnet's polarity several times while you watch the movement of the flakes change. It seems to me that the left hand rule can also be applied in this case. It's quite unusual, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I found this experiment very unusual. This phenomenon is most often observed near the anode. While you are enjoying watching, I would like to repeat the question to you. What do you think these flakes are? Zinc sulfate or is there another substance? Write your answer in the comments.
road was formed near the cathode, which I decided to set on fire. What do you think it is? Friends, thank you for your attention, but that's all for today. See you soon. Sincerely, Yuri Kovalenov.